Hello, everybody. Okay, so this is going to be an updated read on Dylan Eller. Um, he is a missing little boy from Nova Scotia, Ontario, uh, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, I did do a ancestor read on him and got a bunch of information. Um, since then, I have been sent a bunch of stuff. Um, people who know the family have contacted me via email. And I was given a lot more information on the case. Now, um, I'm going to do this updated read to see what was going on. But my read that I did still stands. Um, the first read that I did on this little boy is my ancestor read with my ancestor deck, which is a deck that was made specially for me by my elders. So, I mean, I do stand by that. Um, this is just going to give us maybe a little bit more information. We are going to use several oracle decks now and see what more information that we can get regarding this. So if, I'm going to ask if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I do updated reads, when I do new reads like this, um, you'll be notified of that. Also, I want to, there was a few people that were making comments about cards that were dropped in the first read. Um, people that are on this channel and have been with this channel for a long time know I do have a problem you can see right here with my hand. Um, any cards that do come out that fly out of the deck, I do keep out. But if I am the one, like if I go like this and I, I drop cards because this tightens up on me, um, I'm not going to include them because they were not meant for the read. So I can guarantee you any cards that do come out on their own, I do keep out. Okay, so again, this is in my opinion only based on what I get from my cards, entertainment pur purposes only. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into this now. Um, if you haven't seen the first read I did on Dylan, you may want to go and see that one first. I will link it here or up here somewhere. It will be linked. Okay, so we've cleared the cards. Let's get started. And we're going to first ask the cards in the days and weeks leading up to little Dylan going missing. What was going on? What was surrounding him? Um, his situation. So maybe we can give it, gain a little bit more insight as to what was going on in the days, weeks late, leading up to Dylan going missing. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we got the Believe. Okay. Strange Encounters. Um, so I do believe leading up to his disappearance, there could have been maybe some kind of strange encounter that somebody had with somebody. Um, maybe somebody from their past, bumping into them again. It'd be like something out of the ordinary. It's always tea time. Okay, talks about um, repetitive things. Uh, sitting around talking about and discussing um, things that are going on with other people. Mortality. Okay, so we got the mortality also. Um, and people feeling like they're above everybody else. Um, maybe things uh, getting away with certain things. Um, talking about life and how life is, is going. So I see people that are surrounding Dylan at this point. Okay, because Dylan's a child. So there's not going to be a lot of things that he's going out and doing. So it's basically talking about the life surrounding Dylan. Okay, I do believe that there has been some kind of strange encounters. Maybe um, when I get this, it, it sometimes talks about meeting up with people maybe from the past, people who you haven't seen in a long time, or it's like, you know, when you uh, hypothetically here, um, it's like, oh my God, I haven't seen that person in so long. It's like weird that I bang into them here. Okay, so some kind of strange encounter happened. Um, I do see, it's always tea time, tea time, everybody, you know what they talk about, spill the tea, talking about um, others, okay, so I believe there was a lot of conversation about other people going on around Dylan, 
Let me just turn my heater on a bit here. It's a little chilly. Um, so, and talking about somebody's reputation. So there was a lot of gossiping and stuff going on around leading up to, to Dylan's disappearance. And I got mortality. This tells me about somebody who thinks that they're above everybody else, above the law. Um, things won't happen to them. Um, you read about things in the paper all the time going on and it's like, that'll never happen to me or mine. You know what I mean? So there was a lot of, um, talk about that mortality, keeping your temper. So uh, there was somebody that had lost their temper that was around and don't forget this is surrounding Dylan. Okay. So I do see that, um, anger ruled somebody at some point. So somebody did something out of anger. Um, I see some fighting and arguing going on there. Um, use your time well, making every moment count. I think that things were being put off. Um, people weren't using their time wisely. Uncertainty. Um, choosing what's going to happen. So I think that there was choices that were about to be made. Um, maybe changes in atmosphere, in surroundings. But I do see that there was changes that were coming. Uh, following the right rabbit, curiosity. Um somebody this tells me that there was things that were going on that um somebody wanted to get to the bottom of um even though i think that there could have been things that were going on um a lot of uncertainty maybe in the relationship of dylan's parents i do know that there was some kind of separation at some point and it's showing here with the uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen in the future um, but I also got somebody who'd lost their temper. Um, so following the white rabbit, it's like chasing after things to try and find out maybe truths. And this is all leading up to his disappearance. Also got leading the way. Um, Some about wanting to help a certain situation or, or maybe helping somebody else. Um, it tells me about being involved in things that maybe we shouldn't have involved ourselves in. Um, and I get this a lot too when we have one person that's always the one to be helpful and the other saying, you know, like, just stay out of it. It's none of our concern. Stay out of it. But there, this person is like a born leader almost and always wants to help. Um, and it's almost like someone who can't fix their own, but is always there for somebody else. Okay, so I see a lot of butting of heads going on here. A lot of how things should be, but they aren't. How they want things to be, but they can't get there. Um, a lot of talk going on talk about how things should be maybe even about others or what others are having to say about the the situation surrounding Dylan and this family. I see a lot of gossiping going on, but somebody lost their temper. Um, we're all mad here. Everyone's a little different. So it's like not wanting to conform to certain things. Um, I see a lot of somebody interjecting like, don't put up with that. Don't do this. Don't do that. You should do it this way. Stuff like that going on. See, I've got the rabbit twice now. Messages for the rabbit. So somebody is following some false information. Or somebody was getting some false information. And somebody acted upon that. Uh, set your course. Um, so I think there was a lot of talk about so things weren't, weren't going in the right direction of the way that they should have um, knowing where you want to go and where you want to head in life or have in life, but things aren't going according to that plan. Um, so a new plan was put in motion. <clears throat> Some discussions also got changed in the night um, changes coming quickly. So something happened very quickly. Changes were made very quickly. Um, maybe not very well thought out. So this could be, I think they separated. And I think that that decision was made pretty quickly. And I think a lot of it was to do with a lot of 
gossip and hearsay that was going on, things that were being said and done um, that actually weren't being said and done. So I, I see somebody not believing something somebody else, one of the other ones is telling them um, and it caused some friction maybe within the relationship in the family unit. Um, I do see somebody losing their temper here. Um, but I feel like this made, whatever this was, I feel like this tea time, a lot of gossip, a lot of he said, she said, um, that's not what I meant. It's not what I did. It could be seen that way, but that's not the way it happened. Um, I see a lot of that going on that caused some friction in the relationship. And I do see the separation there because I see the change in the day. So this changed pretty quickly. Okay. So I want to maybe from this deck before we move on to the next deck, um, get a main, a main point as to when leading up to Dylan going missing, um, something that needs to be said regarding it here we go okay so we got painting the roses red in such a curious dream so i wanted i asked for main points like leading up to so this would be around the time that he went missing but before he actually went missing so it could be leading up right to the moment okay but the very near past okay painting the ro roses red covering up errors so this is very close to the time he went missing. So I would say leading up to the hours of him going missing, um, I see somebody painting the roses red, which means somebody trying to cover up past errors. Um, it's such a curious dream, okay? Talks about returning to reality, coming home. Um, it's almost like a restart. Um, covering up errors and coming home. Um, curious of what the future is going to hold. Okay. So that's, I believe, this was surrounding Dylan in the hours leading up to his disappointment. Somebody is trying to cover up errors. Um, and this is before he went missing. So I don't know what happened in the hours leading up to him going missing. But somebody was trying to cover up some errors that were made. Such a curious dream t tells me about the returning to reality. Reality hit somebody. And somebody was trying to cover up mistakes. This is leading up to Dylan actually going missing. This could be moments before. Moments before. Okay? Because I asked for surrounding him when he went missing so even though we have the days and weeks here this is going to lead up right to the moment he went missing the, the hours before the minutes before the seconds before somebody is covering up errors that were made somebody returning to reality so i don't know if there was some kind of activities going on whether it was drinking drugs some kind of things that should not have been going on, but I see somebody making errors and then trying to get back to reality. Oh my God, what are we gonna do now? Okay. This is almost like covering up. So we're gonna go into the next deck and we're going to find out what was going on, what happened with Dylan when he went missing. So this is once he went missing. This could be, this could start within seconds of him going missing. Um, why he went missing. This is all going to surround Dylan going missing. So I've already got some vibes here that there was something done. An error was made and it was like, oh my God, what do we do now? Okay. I know I did um, get a feeling that he was left unattended. Um, now, in the information that I got, the grandmother apparently said that she just went uh, 10, 15 seconds to, to tie up this dog or something. I'm getting that's not what happened. There was some kind of error made. I feel that 
he was left alone when he shouldn't have been. And it was more than just a few seconds. Um, errors were made and now it's, it's, oh my God, what do we do now? Okay. So this is, this is him going missing and, and how it was able for him to go missing. Um, it was because of these errors made, um, and you know, returning to reality. Oh my God, maybe coming back outside and Dylan's gone. I feel that a lot more time passed than what the grandmother stated. I feel like almost like she went in the house or away from where she should have been. Did she go and talk to a neighbor or so? I don't know, but I do know that there was an error made, a big error. I believe she went in the house. Coming back out, it was like, oh my God, he's gone. Such a curious dream. Um, it talks about returning to reality. You see it right here, returning to reality. Um, she comes out and realizes he's gone. Now what? Okay. So we're going to continue from that point. What happened to Dylan? Where did Dylan go? We've got dresses of alchemy. Alchemy. That one flew out, so we are going to take it. Okay. Dress of alchemy talks about releasing power. Now this is out of her control. Okay. So whatever's happened now is out of her control. Let's see what happened. Um, carnivores, flower, fairy. An offer. There was an offer made. A tempting offer has been made. Um, a wing seer seeing clearly. Um, I'm getting that this is out of her control now, but I see that there was an offer made. This flower fairy, carnivorous flower fairy is a tempting offer that has a huge price. There was an offer made. Okay. Um, the wing seer. Um, talks about seeing things clearly. I think um, <sighs> there was some kind of offer. The offer was taken. And somebody didn't think this through clearly. But now it's happened. That's why it's now out of her control. Okay. Um, Sorry, I had to take a drink of my coffee. We know what happened here. There was some errors made. There was an offer made, some kind of offer, an offer, a tempting offer. Look at the bottom. Um, let me see if I can get that to see. A tempting offer has a high price. This offer that was offered had a high price was the taking of Dylan. That's what I believe. She didn't think this through. Ghost of Pumpkin Patch, counting your blessings. Storm Angel, collision of beliefs and attitudes. Okay, so we know that there was, this is now out of her control. When she comes out, Dylan is gone. Now, I'm not saying that this is the grandmother, okay? What I am saying is the grandmother, grandmother made an error. I believe that she, was, she went in the house, and she was in there a lot longer than what she's saying. Um, returning to reality, when she came out, he was gone, okay? And... There's nothing she can do about it now. Okay. He's gone. Now, with that being said, there was some kind of offer made. This child was chosen. <laughs> now, I don't know if whoever took Dylan was watching. I got almost like some stalking, a feeling of stalking. 
there was an offer made. And the offer had a high price. So I don't know if this person who took Dylan offered Dylan something. You know how, and this is just hypothetical. Oh, come here. Look at, look at, oh, I'm going to take you to your mommy or, or here. Come on, come see my puppy type thing. Dylan took the offer. Okay. It had a high price. Um, the wings start seer, seeing clearly. Um, there was a tempting offer made. The offer was taken and the, the, this person is seeing clearly now what they've got to do. Okay. Now that the choice and the offer has been taken. Okay. Counting blessings and storm angel together. Okay. These are two cards at the opposite end of the spectrum. Okay. So I'm seeing that um, this is almost a collision of beliefs here with this person. Um, the attitude and style and the energy around this person. Um, it's almost, this is somebody from the past. This is somebody that this family is going to know. They know this person. And I'm not saying that the family has anything to do with this. But what I am saying is the family knows this person. They may have not, they may have been even friends or I know in my last read, I've got some kind of partner. This could have been a partnership. This could have been a business partner, a partner that you worked with or an ex partner of the grandmother, the parents, or somebody that knows them. But this person is known in some way, shape or form to this family. I do feel that this, this family could have been being watched, but I almost feel like this is done because of past, some of the errors, something from the past. I believe that this is done something from the past. Um, the storm angel and the ghost of the pumpkin patch, the ghost of the pumpkin patch is telling me that this is somebody from the past. Like everybody says, Oh my God, what a, a ghost from the past. When you meet up with somebody that, you know, you really don't want to meet up with anymore and they're in your past. But remember over here where I said, um, it's funny running into that person. I'm getting it again here. So this is somebody that somebody in this family is going to know. Um, Arma of the Mayhem. Healing. Healing. Marie Masquerade. Drama. Fairy of the Divine Hand. Intoxication. Toxica intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. Do you remember in my first read that I did with my ancestor deck? I said, this person who did that has a drug or alcohol problem. Here it is. Fairy of the divine hand. Do you see here? Overindulgence, distorted views, and intoxication. This person has a drug or alcohol problem. And this person is, this is almost like a revenge Okay. Drama. Masquerade. Drama, drama, drama. There's going to be, this person is always causing drama, always chaos, always around them. And they felt like by doing what they did by taking Dylan, this was going to help them heal from whatever they feel. The errors from the past, the wrongs from the past, they felt like this was going to heal that. Shallow grave. Ghosts of the past. See, this is somebody that this family knows. Strange, lonely. Oh, gosh. Shallow grave. I do not believe that he is still alive.
Ghost of the past, the past returns. This is somebody you see at the bottom, the past returns for a time. This is somebody from the past. Now, this is going to be somebody that the family knows. This could be an ex-partner of one of the, the, the family that was around Dylan all the time. A jilted ex-lover. A jilted ex-partner of some kind. This is somebody from the past that have come to make score even. Holding on way too tight. Strange lonely. Um, this is somebody that is holding on from something from the past. Um, and I, I believe that this, this family could have been being watched and this was an opportunity. Um, dry flower fairy, sweet memories. See, this is somebody from the, one of these people's past. This is a person from what this family is going to know this person. Witchy sisters. Power of three. See? The power of three. Somebody that didn't belong there. Two little witches. Wow. Okay. Do you see this witch here? The clothes that are being worn. And you see it here. Got the same slight twinsies here of this one in the middle. This one in the middle. This could be a female. Um, feeling jolted. Space clearing. Um... This is somebody who's very jealous of the time that Dylan took away from somebody else. They're blaming Dylan. And I almost feel like this was the best revenge was to take him. Take him out of the equation. Wow. Candy cane angel. He might have been offered some kind of candy or something. Candy cane angel. But he was taken, you guys. See this faceless ghost. We're getting a lot of ghosts. A lot of ghosts from the past. Faceless ghosts and the haunted girl. Ghost people. So this is somebody that may have recently come back around. That you haven't seen in a long time but i guarantee you you are going to know this person both parents may have known this person or the um the grandmother and one of the parents might know this person but this person is very jealous so this could be a female that took him okay and i think it was an opportunity it was opportunic um i think this family could have been being watched and this was the perfect opportunity. Um, I do feel, I'm gonna go into the next deck of what's transpired since he's been taken. What has transpired since Dylan has been taken? He was taken, he was taken from that house. Um, I know uh, I read quite a few of the news articles saying that he went towards the water his boots were found at the water he didn't go that way and my last read said the same thing he did not go that way he went up so when the grandmother i believe she went in the house or went in that shed or something out of sight of dylan and it was for her a lot longer than what she's saying but i'm i'm seeing her going in the house and i see dylan coming out there and him being taken from there he's been taken he went up that road to meet that other road that came out in my first read if you have not seen it, I will link it up top here somewhere. Um, he was taken. But I also feel almost like they were being watched, stalked almost. And this was the opportunity. It was opportunity. Opportunity. 
So could this be somebody that lives near the grandmother that has been watching maybe Dylan in that backyard playing a lot and this and that, and this was an opportunity? Did they have thoughts about what they wanted to do if they ever had the opportunity? But I do feel like this is somebody that the family knows and I'm almost getting it's a revenge for something. But let's see. But I do not, I, I see Dylan being taken. He was taken by a car and he was taken. He's not far. I'm going to tell you right now, he's not that far away. But I do, it, where he was taken was not far. And I do not believe that he is still alive. But, and I'm saying this is for entertainment purposes only, but my reads have been pretty spot on. Um, those boots were found near the water. I have nothing, even in my ancestor read, nothing that comes out that this little boy is in water. I've got a shallow grave. He's buried. And this person, I believe, is still in the area. I believe this could be somebody that has recently, around the time that Dylan went missing, I believe could have recently returned to the area. A ghost of the past. I think we all know what that is. Okay. Somebody popping up again that you thought you'd never see again. Um, or was gone for good. Um, I see somebody returning. Okay. So let's see. Once he was taken surrounding um, Dylan. Dylan, is there any information you could give us to maybe help find you? Um, he is buried in a shallow grave. Sister love. Um, so let's get another card with that. The sea maiden promises. Uh, the tinderbox soldier ambition. Um, I've got the card. No. Remember up here I said it, it. this could almost be a female. And I've got the sister love here. Be very, you see the cardinal? Be very weary of a female who seems to want to help you too much. Be involved too much. The cardinal's coming me to, to warn me about one of these um, women that may be trying to involve themselves way too much. They know something. Um, this person has also made promises. Be very, be very leery of this woman. Um, this woman is somehow involved in this. I feel like she's interjected herself into this case. I feel like she could have been coming and giving promises, some kind of promises. And acting almost sister-like, very... Um, oddly investing herself in this case you see the red cardinal the cardinal comes to warn you uh, the cardinal's coming to warn about this this female who is injecting herself into this case and making um really odd promises um that would be like me going from ontario here to nova scotia and saying i'm going to find your daughter today your son today <coughs> um i'm going to do this, 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 or this, because I'm going to do really odd promises being made by this female. Be leery of this female. Um, there's ulterior motives. Uh, Gretel. She's in genuine. Okay. She's not being authentic. Um, ulterior motives. Be leery of this female that's injecting herself into this. Um, you, she can't be trusted. The wood maiden. Um, talks about trust. Um, she can't be trusted for some reason. Um, she's injecting herself into this investigation for some reason. Um, she's not to be trusted. Uh, sensitivity. So she may bring up sensitive topics to, um, and you, you, I see you breaking down. I'm speaking to the mom right now, to the mother of Dylan. Um, this female is bringing up sensitive to topics that keep getting you crying. And it's a distraction. It's a distraction. 
There's a female here that can't be trusted. Um, memory, the Nixie of the Mill Pond. Okay. Um, this female may have just recently come back into your life when this happened with Dylan. She's not to be trusted. Um, dedication, the wild swans. Um, this is it, this is telling me about this female. Seems overly dedicated, making these weird promises, all of a sudden popping back up into your life um, and almost treating this like she was very close with you, but she wasn't. This is somebody that's come back from the past. Be very leery, okay? Be very leery. Okay, let's see about surrounding Dylan right now, where maybe possibly we can find him. some boots greed looking picking the flowers understanding okay I am getting the area where he is showing me I'm getting here almost like a clearing because I see the snow on the ground now. Um, it's almost like a clearing, but there are, there are like trees behind it. So almost like maybe surrounding this area because I do feel like he is in a wooded area. Um, and I'm feeling here, you see this, the flowers? I want to say near greenhouses or flower shop. Is there greenhouses nearby? Because the, he's not far, you guys. He is not far. Is there, I gotta turn this heat down. Um, look for an area like this there's a clearing but there's also a wooded area near it like surrounding it almost this clearing it could be like around one side here there's like trees in that and then a clearing but i'm seeing greenhouses okay flowers or flowers or, or shrubs or something like that are grown but i'm also seeing the puss in boots okay they weren't too smart about this because i think um once you hit the area um, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna be hard to find where he's buried. He is in a shallow grave. Um, I don't know, I, I forget how long ago this happened, but, um, they weren't too smart with where they buried him is what I'm being told because it's not going to be hard to find like it's going to be noticeable and i'm seeing something about greenhouses or flower shop so is there greenhouses or maybe a flower shop where they sell flowers um or or a place with a lot of flowers i'm seeing a lot of flowers that could be greenhouse a flower shop where a lot of flowers are planted um there's a clearing with trees around it and in a shallow grave, okay? And grassy. Like right now, there's gonna have snow on it, but it's usually a grassy area um, where there's either flowers, a lot of flowers, a greenhouse maybe, behind maybe a, a flower shop, something along those lines. Um, no. Okay. Let me get one or two more cards. <coughs> I feel... <coughs> I have a cough through this whole thing, you guys. My throat is getting better now that my gas leak is fixed, but... 
I feel he was strangled because I was getting around the throat. He was choked. He was choked. Children of Lord. There could be also a little pawn there. Because I see swans. Swans are always drawn to pawn. Oh gosh. Okay, there's quite a few here that flipped. Okay, let's move these up so we can look at these. Where's there could be a little pond or a little stream. This is not deep. If it's a stream, it's got like itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy water. Almost like, you know, when you get like some ground break away and then you get this little about this wide and the water's like just like trickling down this. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but I am almost like a little, little, little pond. Um, so this could be where. It floods when it rains really, really bad, but then it dissipates again. So that's why I'm, I'm not seeing water that's like a lake or something like that. I'm not even seeing that. What is that? That creek or river or whatever. No, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing that the water could pool there um, when it really rains heavy over a few days, but then it, it's gone again because I'm seeing a grassy area. That's probably why the grass is so green. Um, and there's, there's trees around it. I'm seeing either some where a lot of flowers could be found, a greenhouse behind a flower shop, maybe. The rose elf. See, I'm seeing flowers, flowers, flowers. Uh, Rumple silk skin secrets. Yep. Yeah, this, this woman is keeping secrets. Hansel and Gretel survival. Yeah, he, he couldn't have survived this. Um, and here... This place means something to whoever's involved in this, this area. So you guys, when you see this, the parents, when they see this, may know this area like that. Because I've got the, the frog prints, which talks about intimacy. So this person here, this female, is intimate with this, knows the place well. But I'm almost getting like one of the parents will know this place very well, too. Um, there was he wasn't going to survive this, you guys. I've got nothing other than the, the swans telling me about um, a trickle of water. Um, the, so this place, this area may flood sometimes. And then as you know, it stops raining and the water goes away. That's why the grass is so green. OK, this is a hint. This is why the grass is so green. It's because of the constant water like that, that it gets, it gets waterlogged. And then, and then it gets like, this is not a lake. It's not, it's where water ponds. Okay. And I just see trickles of water, like maybe alongside the road, like a trickle of water will be going down or like a, um, one of those gullies on the side of the road that have, you know, the metal things. What do you call them? Um, for water. You know what I mean? On the side of the road, it's like a gully and water runs through these metal things at each end, like a driveway will go over these metal things. <clears throat> I'm seeing the most trickling of that, but water's not always there. So this is not a lake. This is not that raging river or the bay of whatever they said. This is, uh, this is an area. This is a green area. It's covered in snow right now, but the grass is really green. That's why I'm seeing this tall green grass here. Um, and, and it's because water ponds there. Okay. And it's almost like it, it ponds and then it's done. And then it's ponds and it, it, it's a good hiding spot because people don't really go there because it, it's damp a lot. Um, the rose elf, I'm getting the flowers again. Um, secrets. Somebody is, is holding on to secrets while they're sharing information. And here again, I'm seeing, see, there it is right there. That's what I'm talking about like a little, little stream almost, and it's out in the open. So that's not this raging stream that they're talking or river 
that they're talking about. This is something that floods because you can see the bales of hay in the field. This field floods sometimes. Yeah. And again, see what we got here, the candy. Um, I think that's how they lured him into the car. Um, but he was taken and this was opportunate. Um, he, he took a bite of one of them, took a bite of one of these candies. Um, but yeah, he wasn't going to survive. And th this place is going to be known. So I hope um, the people that do see this read, I hope that uh, they go look at this place. And what I did get, <clears throat> all of a sudden I'm starting to cough. Um, it's a shallow grave. So when you get to this area, it's not going to be hard. It's back in a bit, um, hidden in there a little bit. But it's not deep in a wooded area. It's not. It's almost like there's this grassy area here. Okay, so let's say here's this grassy area. It has some trees around it. I feel like there's a road here. There's this grassy area with the trees here. Okay. Okay. So I was shown, uh, I was sent something via email. There's a road that goes up like this to the main road. The grandmother's house is here. Um, okay. The grandmother's house is on this corner. There's a road that comes up in front of the, the... There's two roads. The grandmother's house. There's two roads. He was taken this way. There's going to be an area like this down there, and it's not far. It's an open area. almost feel like this isn't a car he's gone this way came back gone this way I see a back and forth motion not far on each side of the I would check both sides just to be sure but I am seeing this this vehicle okay here's a road and there's a main road here this road comes up and meets this main road but this this vehicle goes back and forth <coughs> so this may be showing me that the person is still going back and forth in front of the grandmothers i'm being choked here hang on a second you guys all of a sudden i started this, this child was choked but this vehicle this person still goes back and forth i would check within a quarter mile each side of the grandmother's place on this main road it's an open area with trees behind it there could even could be on it could be off this main road right here this could be behind if, there, if there's a flower shop it could be behind the flower shop where there's an opening with trees and it's not going to be far into the trees where he's buried or this could be an open area like the road, an open area, a grassy area where greenhouses or a lot of flowers are. You got to watch. And it's not far. It's not far, you guys, from the, the from the grandmother's house. But I see this car going back and forth on this main road of the grandmother's house. This vehicle is still... This, uh, there's a false friend there that knows what happened. Even if this, this female is not directly involved, they know what happened and why. In my opinion only. So that is my updated read on Dylan. I hope that this has brought out some more information. I pray to God every day and every night for this little boy that he has found and brought home so he can be laid to rest by his parents. I wish to God I would could say that this little boy is still alive, but I just don't see it. I see the shallow grave and then an area. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, say some prayers for this family, please. Um, I have my thoughts that I'm gonna keep to myself regarding the grandmother. Um, but what I will say is she's not telling the whole truth. She's not telling the whole truth. Um, 
she left him alone a lot longer than what she's saying. And I have some other thoughts and theories, but I'm going to keep them to myself. Um, I don't think that it's fair that I put my thoughts, what I'm seeing out there, um, to be, I don't want this family being attacked. I can tell you right now that the mother and father had nothing to do with this. I can tell you that. I see nothing in either reads that would say that these parents had anything to do with this little boy going missing. So um, I did get some messages, a very nasty messages regarding this family. And I'm going to warn right now that if you put a nasty comment or an attacking comment regarding the parents of little Dylan, you will be banned from my channel because I'm not going to put up with that. Um, I do not see the parents having anything to do with this. Um, I do feel that they probably know this person without knowing that they know. Okay. I believe this is somebody from the past that has come back. Um, for revenge. That's what I'm seeing. Now, whether this female did it herself, had somebody do it, had somebody watching, I don't know, but this, there's a female here that cannot be trusted. I've got a lot of ghost cards that came out. When I get the ghost cards that come out, that tells me that it's somebody from the past, ghost people coming back. Okay. So that is my read. Um, please stay safe. I want to wish everybody a, a very happy new year. Um, if you, you do party, Please do not drink and drive. Um, and I wish nothing but the best for this family. And I pray every day that you find your little boy and bring him home. Um, I will be saying extra prayers for that, for his family and for his mom and dad. I ask that my subscribers and those of you looking at this read, please say an extra prayer tonight for these parents and for little Dylan um, and pray that he is brought home to them. Amen. Until next time, you guys, I love you to the moon and back. Please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Bye-bye for now.